Hello everyone, this is Matt from Real World Review, and today we're going to change the back camera glass on the iPhone 13. This will also apply for the iPhone 13 mini, and this will also apply for the iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, but those are different camera lenses. So the tools you're going to need are going to be a razor blade, possibly a Q-tip with some rubbing alcohol, I highly recommend some compressed air, sometimes heat, but I don't actually recommend doing that. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that there's a crack in there so then you can actually get the razor blade in. If it's a hairline crack, you might want to try and crack it on the sides. You definitely don't want to crack it where the camera lens is because you don't want to puncture the camera lens. But either way, without heat, you just want to peel up the corners and make sure you can get that razor blade all the way to the edge of where the camera lens sits. So then ultimately what you're going to do is going to use that blade to go under the glass and cut through the adhesive that's holding the glass in. This may take some time and little pieces may fall off, so make sure you have some eye protection so then you obviously don't get any glass in your eye because that's the last thing you wanna do here. But either way, you wanna keep doing it. I highly recommend using a microscope. If you don't have one, it's not really required for this, but I'm gonna use this under a microscope to kind of show you what I'm doing. So I'm lifting up the glass and you can see that little adhesive that looks like it kind of bubbled up. It's sitting on the actual metal frame. Pretty much what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take off the glass as well as that adhesive and just go around the whole edge, obviously making sure not to touch the camera sensor. But once you get a decent amount of space, you can kind of scrape off the adhesive like I'm doing right here. And you just want to keep doing this until you go all the way around the edge of the camera. This may take some time, and if you do end up using heat, I highly recommend using it just for a few seconds. The camera sensor is mainly made out of plastic, so if you add too much heat, you could melt the camera, and then you have to replace the camera. And that's definitely not something that I would recommend doing especially with Apple being extremely difficult when it comes to right to repair and repairing your stuff in general. Ultimately, we wanna get this all clean because we are gonna add adhesive to put the new camera lens on. So you wanna make sure that it's flat and then there's not really too much adhesive on there. You can see there's little bits and pieces that are on there, but ultimately the adhesive is gonna stick well and I have other methods to kind of help with that. And then I recommend using the compressed air on the camera. It's possible you could have scratches in the camera, so that may not do anything at all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the camera lenses. So the first thing I probably should have told you is that on the iPhone 13, the bottom camera is the main sensor, while the top one is the ultra wide sensor. The ultra wide sensor doesn't focus, so you don't really have to worry about that one. And on the 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max, it does focus, but on the iPhone 13, this one doesn't. The bottom one is the main sensor, so that one focuses. So when you do test it, you wanna make sure that it's still focusing properly. It may not be perfect because that camera lens isn't on there, but you do wanna make sure that it's focusing decently, or at least attempting to. But pretty much all you wanna do is grab the adhesive and set it perfectly around that ring. And you wanna be careful to apply pressure on the actual adhesive, but make sure not to touch that camera sensor and you should be able to take off the protective cover like I did right here. And I'm gonna set the phone down on the little thing that it came with because I don't wanna scratch the actual screen. And at least on this one, the thicker camera is on the bottom and the thinner one is on the top. And I'm talking about the little black color around the camera sensor. They're different on pretty much every phone, but ultimately I'm gonna use that one. Last thing I wanna do is clean the actual camera glass that we're gonna apply and make sure there's no glass in the actual camera sensor area. And then we're just gonna set this on here. You can use your finger, it doesn't really matter because all you're gonna do is just clean it after. But once that's set down, the camera should look good. If not, you might have to replace that camera. But if it does, you're all set. Hopefully this video helped you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section or message me on the social media listed above. And as always, thanks for watching.